It's a me, Dylan J. Math. And today, I'm here to talk about my top 10 favorite Paper Mario bosses. Now, this list includes the three original games. So, Sticker Stars fans. Sorry. At number 10, we have Junior Troopa. Now, I already know what most of you guys are gonna say about this choice. But Dylan, he's super annoying and I hate how smug he is. Yeah, he is, but he's sort of like the small dorky kid that grows up to be a badass tough guy. He's weak at first, but eventually he becomes actually pretty tough to beat. He's still a pain in the ass though, and that's why he's only number 10. At number 9, we have Dark Bones. Even though this undead monster isn't a main boss and eventually does become an enemy in the Pit of 100 Trials, I still like its looks. Its coloring scheme just screams I'm a tough cookie with its red eyes and dark bluish black body. Along with four Dry Bones, Dark Bones can be actually pretty challenging if you're not ready though. Other than its looks though, it's not spectacular, so that's why it's only number 9. At number 8 is Brobot. Okay, first of all, sweet name for this boss. And second of all, if anyone says this is a spoiler, then they've probably never actually played Super Paper Mario before. This boss is a giant robot that looks like the head of its controller, Mr. L. Now, who's Mr. L, you may ask? He's just one of Count Bleck's minions hell-bent on killing Mario and his friends. The kicker? He's actually Luigi being mind-controlled by Nastasio, Count Bleck's assistant. If you can't figure this out the first time you see him, you might be blind. Anyway, Brobot is a pretty tough boss with a lot of different attacks including missiles, lasers, and rockets. The main reason I love Brobot is it's your own brother trying to kill you. Also, that name though. Number 7 is Super Dementio. This time I am throwing a spoiler alert in there because this one's big and very complicated, so I'll try to explain it to you guys very quickly. Dementio is a freaky interdimensional jester that is one of Count Bleck's minions. Or so you think. Near the middle and end chapters of the game, Dementio actually starts sneaking around Count Bleck and helping you on your quest. Or so you think. After defeating Count Bleck, Dementio reveals the real reason he was helping you, and that was to get Count Bleck out of the way so he could use the Chaos Heart to destroy all dimensions. He then goes through a transformation that I think is honestly the coolest part in Super Paper Mario, becoming Super Dementio. Super Dementio is the final, final boss of the game. Number six is Lava Piranha. Phew, it's hot in here. Oh, it's because I'm in a volcano. Volcano? Yes, Mount Lava Lava to be exact, which is home to this awesome boss. The Lava Piranha is a gigantic piranha plant with one giant head and two smaller heads, all which spit fire at you. Not only that, but when you think you've beaten it, it rises up out of the lava and becomes an even cooler version of itself. It may look cooler, but it's actually easier since you can knock it out for a few turns using water or ice-based attacks. I also freaking love the battle music. At number 5 is Huff and Puff. As infuriatingly difficult and tiring this pain in the ass boss is, I actually enjoyed the challenge and think Huff and Puff could rank within the top 10 hardest Paper Mario bosses ever. The dude just won't quit! As soon as you think you have him, he just sucks up the remaining rough puffs and gains a crap load of HP! Not only that, but Huff and Puff has a couple of really powerful electric attacks that are nearly impossible to guard. You should definitely bring along some stone caps if you want to survive. At number 4 we have Bone Tail. Now before I explain why this boss is one of my favorites, let me tell you that Bone Tail is an optional boss who can be found at the bottom of the pit of 100 trials. Bone Tail is single-handedly the hardest enemy or boss in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door with 200 HP, 8 attack, and 2 defense with various breaths that cause status changes. I know it's really difficult and I've broken out into a nervous sweat almost every time I face this boss, but Bone Tail is just one of those bosses that you feel extremely satisfied when you beat it and it keels over dead. Or dead. Again, uh, you know what I mean. At number three is Francis. Grrr, I love butterflies. They're so sweet. Yes, 
The ultimate stereotype of a computer geek mixed with a chameleon gives you this guy. The fight itself is kind of annoying and not very eventful, but the part before it is priceless. Entering the room as Princess Peach, Francis gets really nervous to talk to her and decides to boot up, you guessed it, a dating simulator RPG. Either way you answer, you still have to fight him in the end, but come on! At number two is Rock Hawk, an obvious parody of Hulk Hogan. This studdly bird seems to be the main antagonist of Chapter 3 of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, but if you've played this game, you know he's not. In fact, he's just a cheating little chicken shit who you can actually beat rather easily. He's flashy though, and his battle music kicks ass, so I can forgive him. And finally, my favorite Paper Mario boss is... Wait, where's one of the letters? Damn it, cat! why are you always stealing a lowercase p? <sighs> there, my absolute favorite Paper Mario boss is Dupless, the master of transformation and the stealer of names. Dick. The reason I love this spoopy guy so much is he has a big role to play in the game. Joining the Shadow Sirens after Vivian leaves. Also, he literally almost erases Mario from existence. Something Bowser has failed time and time again to do. Major props, man. Well, that's it for this top 10 list. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Somewhere up here. And thank you so much for playing my game! Woohoo!